Hey YouTube, it is almost the end of May 2015 and it's time for a long-awaited fish room tour. Hey YouTube, Brian here again coming at you. I have not done a fish room update in well, the last one I did was in March, so it's been quite a while. Uh, I did a few videos here and there, but not a full fish room update, so I thought I would do one now. Um, been some changes, uh, things like that, so I'll just kind of show everybody what I've got going on. Uh, we'll start up here, upstairs, in, uh, and look at the 90-gallon discus tank. Um, it's doing well. I lost one discus over the last couple of months, one of the reds that I had. Um, like this guy up here. Um, not sure what happened. It was kind of a sudden death, but um, the other ones all seem to be doing decent. Um, the plants are doing well. Um, I just shipped out probably 15 boxes of plants last week to people. This tank had really gotten overgrown and the 150 and my downstairs planted tank too, so I had a ton of stuff to sell. So. Um, just posted it up on Facebook and uh, got a lot of takers so that was really nice to clear out some space and get some good plants into people's hands but um, yeah not much else to say on this tank other than I'm, I'm re really liking it it's probably my favorite planted tank as far as the plants go um, as far as the discus go I prefer the ones in this tank the 150 um, as you remember from my last video, I did, I had gotten these wild cots, which I'm really, really still liking them. They just seem like such a hardier discus compared to domestic, um, strains that, um, that are out there. Um, I'm assuming because they're from the wild and, and haven't been, uh, inbred and line bred and stuff like that over time, but... This tank's doing decent. I'm still battling some algae here and there, but not nearly as bad as before. Just kind of waiting on the storage and repens carpet to grow out. Uh, the Blixa does great in here. Um, the Alternana Reniki Mini hasn't done so well in this tank compared to over here. You can see quite a bit of difference, but I plan on, instead of selling off the rest of the clippings, bringing some of this over. <laughs> And uh, we should do, be doing just fine in this tank. So, um, not much else to say there. Uh, the shrimp tank below it, the red cherry tank, has uh, been neglected. Pretty algae ridden right now. And for whatever reason, over the last like two or three months, I've just lost a ton of these shrimp. Um, so, um, I'm, I'm going to be tearing this down real soon and uh, putting in some different substrate and uh, cycling it to get a new shrimp tank and I'll, I'll figure out what type of shrimp I want in there at that point. Um, down below here, uh, the yellow Neo tank. They're doing decent. You can see right now they're all huddled together eating some food. I've seen buried, buried females but I haven't seen any shrimplets so I'm not sure what's going on if they're not making it or if they're just hiding till they get bigger I can't really seem to zoom in real well on these shrimp there you go so and then of course we've got the uh, blue velvet tank little five gallon up here bunch of shrimp gathered around eating here I see tons of little shrimplets from time to time um, so these guys are doing well. Pretty simple scape. We'll head out over here to the Holga tank. Got Triton in here, the male, and his female, or I'm hoping to hoping that they'll pair off at some time is behind hiding behind here. They've spawned once in the eggs. She ate the eggs. That was before I brought him up here. You'll probably remember that. Um, he's pretty rough on her. But she'll bite back too, as you can see. Uh, you can see right there on his uh, fin. Um, I threw in six or seven Midas too, just to kind of use his dithers. Um, thinking that may help 
pair these two off and get them to um, start spawning. So far it hasn't helped, but um, you know, it is what it is. These guys will probably be going back downstairs eventually. I've kind of got an idea of what I want to do up in this tank. Um, but uh, for now, they're right here. I'm going to get rid of the sand in this tank too. Um, and in all the tanks where I use sand, I have gave it a shot here. And I just, I don't like the sand. I like the way it looks. Um, um, certain fish, though, don't color up good over the sand. Um, it doesn't affect most of these Amphilophus species, but um, but the thing I don't like about it is for maintenance and cleaning. It's just it's too hard um, to get everything up, I think. Um, so um, I'm going to do away with it over time here. So um, that's it for that tank. We'll come downstairs. There is another tank in my living room now. If you guys are on... Aquatic Support Systems Facebook or Aquatic Support Communities Facebook page. You've probably seen a picture of it, or if you follow me on Instagram. By the way, guys, make sure you go over and join Aquatic Support's community on Facebook and uh, follow all the members of Team Aquatic Support. I'll put their links below too on their YouTube channels. Great bunch of guys. Um, these are the F1 Spectabilis, Cacatea Spectabilis. They um, recently had a successful spawn. Um, I took out most of the um, the fry and they uh, had a very low survival rate in, um, in the fry tank. As a matter of fact, I mean, I'm not even sure if there's, if, if, there, if there's any left, there's just a handful now. But they um, are getting along good undivided. He picks on her a little bit. You can see one little um, little uh, ding on her, but they're starting to kind of look like they're gonna spawn again, so I'm excited about that. Um, down below, the wild caught Spectabilis pair have also had a successful spawn now, which I'm really happy about. I guess I should have cleaned the glass here, but I didn't. You can see I pulled some and I left some in. The ones that I pulled didn't make it. The ones I've left in have made it. Um, he was a little hard on her the other day as you can see so um, I'm really keeping my eye on. Got a divider ready to go in. Um, it was just kind of a one a one one time deal. He really roughed her up and now he's left her alone but uh, I'll definitely divide them if they need to be divided. Um, sucks to see her look this way because she's just a beautiful fish but she'll heal. Um, so, you know, there's 10 or 15 fry in this tank, and uh, we'll just see what happens. Uh, behind me here are the lion's eye. The big one is right now in the pot for whatever reason. Usually not in there. Um, there's five of them in here. I've got one more now. I think this guy's a male, and um, I got a, one that... Um, one of my buddies, James Randall, thinks is a female. It's up in that tank with the lights out right now. But, um, so, it's he, it, it, that one's a little bigger than this one, so I don't want to add them quite yet, but they're, they're about the same size, so. Of course, they're all hiding. Usually they're out and pretty active, but, um, th this tank has a timer and the lights go out midday and that's what time it is now so I just turned them on before I turned on the camera so that's probably what's going on. Uh, down below we got some more Midas and then some Umbies. There's five Umbies left that I've got. Um, they're, they're basically sold. Um, should be going out here soon. And then uh, some Midas as well. Um, these guys are getting really nice looking, some of them. Um, these and then the ones I've got upstairs that I just showed you in the Hoga tank. Um, so I'm looking to get rid of some of them still. If you're looking for Midas, let me know. These are, you know, four to five inches in size, depending. This one is staying. I really like this one. But um, that's what's going on there. Oh yeah, up above here too, I've got a few... Uh, Birchers now, just uh, two regular Senegal polypterus. There's one of them, and then two uh, 
I always butcher this name, but I, I say Angela Cheery. Hope that's right. They're definitely probably hiding because the lights have been out. I uh, can't seem to find any right now. So, but yeah, so that's kind of exciting for me too. I've always liked that kind of stuff. Um, we'll show you this rack. So, one cool thing that has happened is we've got a successful spawn from the Redis Latus. Right now, all the fry are back there, but usually they've got them out right front and center in the middle in a nice cloud, so that's cool. Um, yeah, they've been fun to watch, <laughs> and their colors are just amazing right now with uh, um, with their breeding dress. He's pretty feisty, especially since he's got uh, kids to protect now. He's got a lot of attitude. Check this guy out. Nice looking fish, both of them. Really happy with them. Um, shrimp wise, let's go look at some shrimp. Here's the red rillies. Had a bunch more. I've, I've had a problem, I don't know what the deal is, but I've lost a lot of shrimp. I mean, I got like 70 from a local guy. Um, and. Um, but I'm not finding dead bodies, so I don't know if they're jumping out, but I don't see anything on the ground ever, or if they've climbed up into, you know, I've got these filter guards on, but maybe they're climbing up into the HOV filters. Gotta look into that a little bit. Because the same thing's happened next door here. I got uh, 50 new um, SSS grades, so a little bit higher grade than what I had of the Crystal Reds. And as you can see, there's, you know, nine ten of them here right now out of 50 so I don't know if they're in the filter if they're below all this what the situation is and then again too with my um, carbon rillies I had bought in, I don't know how many and then I bought a shipment of 50 and here's what you're looking at I mean this is feeding time so they all should be coming out and they're eating food right there, so that's that's all I've got. So I'm gonna have to look into that. If anyone has suggestions, let me know. I mean, my water parameters are perfect. Um, the only thing I can think of is that um, they're going up into these HOB filters, so I'm gonna take a look into that. Uh, over here is the Crystal Reds. They're they're still thriving, uh, multiplying. Um, some nice red moss here. You guys have uh, never seen this red moss. It's actually an algae, but uh, this has been doing real well for me so far, so I'm happy about that. Let's go around here. There's some more on this side. A little bit of algae growing in there that I got to take care of, but otherwise we're good. Um, almost always see buried females in this tank. I think I kind of got the camera around the corner here, so I can't really tell, but I think looking at one right now so yeah those are going well um, nothing really going on below here so we won't show that um, one of the umbi tanks here now this is a male f1 that comes from Magnus who really likes to hide a lot he's getting better though but he's just got beautiful colors beautiful freckling really like this guy and then a wild caught female that I've been working trying to get these two to pair off she'll get to the point where she's just you know bright yellow bright white whatever you want to call it um, fins are all black eyes are all black tubes down but then they never spawn so I'm just being patient with them they're getting along great there's there's no fighting or anything that I ever see but um, really enjoying them just uh, wanting to get them to pair off and really excited to see what this guy looks like when he grows bigger but he's you know he's a good eight inches right now I'd say maybe a little more 
I tell you, Magnus really puts off good looking uh, offspring. So, down below, these guys are spoken for. Um, my other Holgas, female and male over here. This is the guy that's super active. I'm really going to miss this guy, but I just need the room. I, I can't. I don't have the room to keep two Holga pairs, so I decided to get rid of this one. And then this female here. So they'll be heading out, it looks like, uh, hopefully, maybe next weekend, a week from now or so. And then I've got just some dithers in here, um, a few Midas and a few uh, Red Texas uh, hybrids of some sort that uh, came along with some fish that I'd gotten a while back. So, um, right here, then we're looking at uh, Thorson. He's really growing, looking great. Trailers are looking awesome, colors are looking awesome. And his female, Maggie. Uh, Maggie is an F1 from Magnus, and Thorson is an F1 from Thor. For those of you guys that uh, know the Umbi community, uh, both are um, fish that Mike Mann either has or has had in the past. Um, so these these guys have spawned three times successfully, made it to free swimmers. I never pulled the the fry because I just wanted to see what would happen, and each time, within about a week, they were gone. So next time they spawn, I'm going to pull them. However, the last two times now have been unsuccessful. Um, they used to always spawn in that pot, and things would go fine. But last time they spawned on this rock, she ate them the next day, ate the eggs. And then just last week, she spawned, or they spawned on the outside of that pot. It always was in the inside before, and then she ate the eggs the next day there, too. So I don't know what's going on, but just being patient with them. And she's great looking, too. He's awesome. Really happy with this pair. Okay, and so up here I've got another tank with umbies that I've got divided right now. On this side I've got another Magnus male. It's about the same size as the one up here. Looks very similar. A lot of the same markings. Equal quality. He's super skittish though too. He likes to hide under these rocks. And then up in the corner right now, there's a female that is from uh, another um, one of Mike's um, old umbies that's no longer around, named Loki. Um, they get along good. I don't know why she's up in the corner right now. They're typically getting along good. Um, she's shown some color for him at times, but they've just been introduced to each other recently, so we'll give it some time. And then over here is... Okay, so this one over here is another um, umbi that I've got, which is from Loki. Um, she's hiding right now. For the longest time, I thought this was a male. And then, um, wasn't getting along with any other females that I put in there. Oh, out of hiding right now is another female from Magnus. This one... Um, is really nice and she spawns with anything so I put her in here to kind of test out what I was about to say anyway I thought this was a male no females that I would put in were ever interested in this fish so I took some vent pictures and sent them out to some some of my trusted buddies and everyone said it was a female vent um, so um, I've introduce her to some males and they fought like they were two males so now what I've done I had a free female so now I put her in here to see and they she's just totally scared of of whatever this is and um, is getting picked on pretty bad so I'm gonna move her out of this tank pretty soon I've got some spare room so so if that makes any sense <laughs> anyway but this fish here is just beautiful. I just got to figure out what it is because I want to keep it and match it up with something. And uh, I think it'll be an awesome looking pair. So, um, Not much to see over here. Um, lights are out. There's, like I said, there's, uh, well, let me see here. Likes to hide, but 
got this <laughs> old Venustas in here. But here is the um, the lion's eye, what I think is a female that I got from James. A little scared right now because I just flicked on the lights, but so I'm looking forward to seeing what may happen there. And then these are just fry tanks. Uh, I've got a few, not a lot, a, a handful of Umbi fry and the two middle ones, and then the two end ones where the, where the Spectabilis fry were. Um, like I say, um, the, from the one pair, none of them made it, and from the other pair, there's just a handful left, if anything, last time I checked. So, um, planted grow a tank down here, really cleared out a lot of space in this recently. Um, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, sold a bunch of stuff, so that was fun. Um, last thing is this new little rack here, uh, two 15 gallon tanks, it'll be shrimp tanks. This tank is almost done cycling, so I'll be getting some shrimp for that soon. And then I'll be filling this one up and cycling it. Um, kind of a spare tank right here right now that I got one uh, female umbi wild caught in. Kind of uh, a spare fish, if you will, just in case I need her. But we'll try to get one more look at this guy before we go. But otherwise, guys, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. Um, I am almost at the 5,000 mark, which just blows me away. I can't thank you guys enough for watching my videos and subscribing. Uh, my last fish room tour from March got over 9,000 views at this point. I, I mean, that just blows me away. I'm not... I never thought people would be that interested in looking at my fish tanks, so real cool. Thanks a lot everyone for supporting this channel and watching and commenting and liking and subscribing and everything like that. So again, um, also go check out Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook. Go join the Aquatic Support Community Group um, and make sure you follow all the members of Team Aquatic Support. Their links will be below. Take care guys.